Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Today I want to tell you about this sound system that I've been building since January 2016. It's been a long project and it's still nowhere near finished. It's got a lot of details to go. So this all started out when I saw this Bluetooth speaker at JB Hi-Fi for $19. I thought it was a steal, so I got it. Uh, it's my first Bluetooth speaker. Very impressed with the quality for $19. The battery life's amazing. It actually sounds incredible. <laughs> And I just wanted to know if I could make it louder because it sounded so good. What it had in quality, it lacked in volume. You really couldn't fill a room with that sound. So a lot of reverse engineering later, I decided that I wasn't going to try and add larger speakers to this little thing. Uh, and it turns out on eBay, you can buy a D-Class amplifier pretty cheap. So I got a little amplifier, a little Bluetooth module, and two speakers and hooked it all up and it, it worked great. I even created a little VU meter. It's just a little op amp which shows like the volume level at any given time. Uh, and, and this was my little test setup. So I built speaker boxes. Here they are. I tried porting the back of them to get a little bit more of a bassy sound, but I wasn't really getting anywhere, so I actually decided to buy a proper subwoofer speaker, and I built a whole new box, and got another amplifier, and, and a splitter, so that I could split the signal between the um, mid-range tweeter speakers and the subwoofer speaker. So here's the whole system. This is where we're at today, which is... Uh, what is it, September, late September 2017. And what I'm going to do today is replace the grill on the two smaller speakers. I've been looking for months now for some material that I could use for all three. And the best I've come up with is this bin from Kmart. It's got this really nice square grid pattern. But I don't think I can use this for the large subwoofer grill. What I've got in there at the moment was bought from JCar. Um, and I think that'll do. This Kmart mesh bin kind of matches that pattern. So what I'm going to do is just lightly sand them both and spray paint them to get a consistent texture. And I, I think that'll do. I'll use the smaller thin bin mesh for the two small speakers and just leave the the J-car mesh for the subwoofer. I think it'll look fine. So let's get to it. I fastened on these covers using some really sturdy stainless steel screws. Oh, this is not good. The trick here is going to be to get them off without jamming the screwdriver in the speaker. Alright, let's try not to disturb any of that. Here's the mission today. So, at the moment, this very light termite mesh. It's just fastened in there with a bit of hot glue. Shouldn't be too hard to pop that out of there. There we go. Yep, that looks about the right size. I'm just trying to flatten these a little bit before I cut them around. They'll be epoxied into these wooden rims, so I'm not too worried about it wobbling around. Yep. Man, that looks good.
after two coats of spray paint, I've got them all looking consistently shiny. They have a little bit of a stippling pattern on them from the spray paint, but I don't mind that. That looks all right. I think um, as long as they're all three the same, I'm happy. So I'm going to start with this small one on the right over here. This is the front side, so we're going to flip it over. And it's still got a bit of a warp to it. So I thought I'm going to need something to press it down onto the edge. And for that, I'm going to use this piece of wood here to stop the epoxy from sticking to the wood. I'm hoping some packaging tape will do the trick. So let's apply that. So no guarantees this will prevent sticking, but I figure if I only have packaging tape stuck to the frame, then at least I won't have all the wood stuck to the frame and I'll be able to pick it off somehow. I'll show you a little trick with epoxy. So once you've got it out in the dish, I find a really effective way to mix it is using a drill on high speed because it kind of spins it around so you can mix and spin at the same time. Alright, got to go fast. I'm just aiming for a really thin coat so that it prevents squeeze out and then I'll kind of dump a little bit of extra epoxy over the top of the mesh once I lower it in. So, here we go. I'm trying to align the grid vertically. I'm not sure that's the best approach. Mm, you know what? I'm going to rotate it. Last minute decision. I'm going to rotate it so that the grid lines up with these holes. Alright, now we'll just put a little bit more epoxy over the top where I think I can get away with it. Alright, I feel like this is going off now. It's building up instead of flowing into the gap, so well, we're just going to lose the whole lot. There we go. And hope for the best. Alrighty. Let's have a look. Oh, yep. Yeah. That is nice and hard. So. And this should just pop out, right? <laughs> right? Yes? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> Oh, it would have been bad if that hadn't stuck. Okay. Well, if that had stuck, so let's have a look here. Yeah, it looks like we got a pretty decent bead of epoxy all the way around. So that's great news. That shouldn't vibrate when the speakers are going. And that looks pretty nice. Oh, yes, indeed. I'll go ahead and do the rest of these off camera and uh, then I'll screw them onto the boxes. Now the big one was a bit more difficult to do just because of the bow in the front grid. I had to really squeeze that down with some clamps to get everything to make contact. Two of these worked out great. You can hear the uh, metallic ring and with this one sort of even drum sound, but when I tapped this one, it kind of sounded like that. And when I sort of pushed on it a bit, it all just cracked away. So I'm not sure why this one didn't work out, but I'm gonna have to get the Dremel, clean this out and basically do it again. <laughs> It's not a good result. Let's put these on and I think I'll leave the video there. In my next video I'll do a sort of tour of the electronics because uh, the electronics are almost finished and just show you the, the finished result then. Anyway, 
Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.